Hey makers, this is Dhruvin and in this episode I am going to talk about how we can create this type of marquee text in Power Apps. So, let's get started. Before we check the overall solution, make sure you followed me on my Instagram and Twitter handle because these are the platform where I am uploading short content on Power Platform. So, do follow me on my Instagram and Twitter, the links are available in the description box. So, without further delay, let's get started. First of all, let's create a new screen where I am going to show you the step by step procedure for adding the marquee text. So over here, this is my screen and let me just rename my screen as SCR marquee. Now over here, first of all, you need to add a timer button. For that, go to the insert menu and search for timer over here. And over here, you will be getting this timer input. So let that timer input. Now you need to add one rectangle as well. So let's add one rectangle. So for that go to the insert and search for the rectangle control. So you will be getting this type of shape. So let's add that and just increase its width like this. After you add this rectangle control, you need to add a text for your message. For that just add one label control on your screen. So that will add one label and just add that label control above this rectangle shape and now over here you just need to provide the text whatever you want so let's say i just wanted to provide a text that congratulations for completing 21000 subscribers so according to your requirement you can change the message and let me just increase the width for this label control which is 500 pixel and let me just make a color of the label text as white color so it will looking nice now the main logical part comes up here where we need to mark you this particular text so we need to basically add the scrollable text over here so for that select your label control and first of all make sure that you have turn on this property repeat and auto start so turn it on and set the duration as 1000 millisecond means 1 second. I just renamed my label. Now let's implement the most important part of this marquee text. So you need to select your timer button and you need to select on timer end event and you need to add this type of code where I am defining one variable called v marquee text for exposition and I am adding a condition that if my marquee text x value is greater than my screen width means screen marquee dot width then it should be negative of label control dot width else it will be my marquee text plus 10 so it will basically add 10 plus point into x position now once we define this condition we need to copy our update context variable we need to select our label control and we need to go with the x axis property so let's select the x axis from here. So I'm just selecting that and going with the x axis. And now we need to provide our variable value over here, which is me v mark you text x, right? So we are done with that. Now let's play our app and let's check the outcome. So I'm playing this and you can see that it has started moving this text like this. Still, it is, you know, very slow. I want to increase the speed. So let's do that. For that, let's click on close. And we need to go to our timer button. Let's select it. And instead of 1000, let's provide 100 here. And now let's try to play that. And let's see what we are getting here. And here we are. You can see that. Now the speed for the marquee text has been increased and you can see that the text is moving from left to right position like this. See this is our right side and this is left side so it is moving from left to right. Now let's see if I want to change the position how can I do that. 
for that i need to modify some line of code here so i need to select this and let's say for an example i just wanted to change the position then i simply need to use whatever the screen width minus this marquee text x position so let's provide that so for that you need to provide your screen name which is screen marquee dot width minus marquee text x right and now let's play so now you will be able to see the position is being changed see now it is moving from right left like this isn't that cool so this is how you can simply add marquee text for your power apps hope you love this video and this video values your time if you are for the first time to my channel make sure you hit subscribe and press the bell notification to never miss any updates from my channel i am uploading regular content on power platform on my channel so don't miss out any updates from me if you are looking for any consultancy this is the website link and if you wanted to follow me on my other social media handles like twitter instagram and podcast platform all the links are available here also i recommend everyone to follow my other channel called digital thruvin where i am uploading short content on power platform as well as regional hindi content on power platform so subscribe that channel and show your love over here as well with this this is thruvin signing off see you in the next session with some amazing content till then have a great day goodbye